the one hand, as I said, for us, for the Czechs, the membership in the European Union had and has no alternative for us. It's, we can't imagine not to participate in the European integration process. To be a good guy, you must be in the EU. When you are not, you are a bad guy. So, so I don't want to be a bad guy. I am always very positive and very productive and constructive person, as you definitely discovered from my speech this morning. I am deeply convinced that the way how the European Union is internally organized, the methods and forms of the European integration have many legitimate possible variants and alternatives. Uh, not to be quite happy with the current situation is something which should be considered quite normal in, in Europe. Otherwise, we will be back in times when there was just one, one correct view. It's my main message. No alternative as regards our participation in the European integration process, but be free about talking about future alternatives of the European Union. I don't believe in the authenticity of the of the European Parliament. You know, a Parliament must be based on an existing demos, I mean, of the existence of the European European people, which is not the case. In my understanding, uh, many decisions, many competencies should be returned back to national parliaments from the European Parliament and from Brussels in general to individual EU countries. I am absolutely sure that the European economy is overregulated and that the movement which should be correct is in one direction, deregulate. So I am absolutely happy with both uh, signals of pro and con. And uh, well, I, I am just surprised that some of the people are not ready to listen. That they they demonstrated that they don't want to listen, and therefore they decided to leave the hall. That's a surprising, slightly surprising behavior.